In this video, we're going to look at calculating percentages. To find out any percentage of an amount, we can use our knowledge of 50%, 10% and 1% as starting points. In this video, we'll focus on using 10% and 1% as a starting point. If I know how to work out 1% of a number, then I can easily work out any percentage of a number. I'm going to go through six different examples. If you'd like to have a go at these yourself before we go through them, pause the video and press play when you're ready. Here's example one. 32% of 400. First, to work out 10% of a number, we divide the number by 10. 400 divided by 10 is 40. Then we can multiply the answer by 3 to find 30%. 40 times 3 is 120. Next, we can find 1% of the number by dividing it by 100. 400 divided by 100 is 4. We multiply the answer by 2 to find 2%. 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 30% of 400 and 2% of 400. So we add the answers together to find 32%. 120 add 8 is 128. So 32% of 400 is 128. Here's the next example. 63% of 50. First, we work out 10% of the number by dividing it by 10. 50 divided by 10 is 5. Then we can multiply the answer by 6 to find 60%. 5 times 6 is 30. So next we need to work out 1% of 50. To find 1% of a number, we divide it by 100. 50 divided by 100 is 0 0.5. We can then multiply the answer by 3 to find 3%. 0 0.5 times 3 is 1.5. So now that we have found 60% of 50 and 3% of 50, we add the answers together to get 63%. 30 add 1.5 is 31.5. So 63% of 50 is 31.5. Here's the next example. 29% of 300. First we work out 10% of the number by dividing it by 10. 300 divided by 10 is 30. We can then multiply the answer by 2 to find 20%. 30 times 2 equals 60. Next, we need to find 1% of 300. To find 1% of a number, we divide it by 100. 300 divided by 100 is 3. We can then multiply the answer by 9 to find 9%. 3 times 9 equals 27. So now that we have found 20% of 300 and 9% of 300, we need to add them together to find 29%. 60 add 27 is 87. So 29% of 300 is 87. Here's the next example, 42% of 250. First we work out 10% of the number by dividing it by 10. 250 divided by 10 
equals 25. We can then multiply the answer by 4 to find 40%. 25 times 4 equals 100. Next, we find 1% of 250. To find 1% of a number, we divide it by 100. 250 divided by 100 is 2.5. We can then multiply the answer by 2 to find 2%. 2.5 times 2 is 5. So now that we have found 40% of 250 and 2% 2 of 250, we add the answers together to get 42%. 100 add 5 is 105. So 42% of 250 is 105. Here's the next example. 78% of 500. First, we find 10% by dividing the number by 10. 500 divided by 10 is 50. We then multiply the answer by 7 to find 70%. 50 times 7 is 350. Next, we find 1% of 500. To find 1% of a number, we divide it by 100. 500 divided by 100 is 5. We can then multiply the answer by 8 to find 8%. 5 times 8 is 40. So now that we have found 70% of 500 and 8% of 500, we can add the answers together to get 78%. 350 add 40 is 390. So 78% of 500 is 390. Here's the last example. 54% of 120. First, we find 10% by dividing the number by 10. 120 divided by 10 is 12. We can then multiply the answer by 5 to find 50%. 12 multiplied by 5 is 60. It's important to note that an easier way of finding 50% of a number is to just divide it by 2. So 120 divided by 2 is 60. So now we need to find 1% of 120. To find 1% of a number, we divide it by 100. 120 divided by 100 is 1.2. We can then multiply the answer by 4 to find 4%. 1.2 times 4 is 4.8. So now that we have found 50% of 120 and 4% of 120, we add the answers together to find 54%. 60 add 4.8 is 64.8. 54% of 120 is 64.8. Using the methods learned over the three videos on how to find a percentage of a number, how many ways can you find 45% of 60? Which way is easier or faster for you? Try it and decide. Let me know your answer and share your thoughts in the comment section.